What's going on guys? It's Tom from Dudes Gourmet and today we're gonna to be making a delicious fish dish thanks to our friends over at Fish Foodies. If you don't know what Fish Foodies is, Fish Foodies is the best dock to door delivery of fish around. Go onto their website, fishfoodies.com, type in your order and the next day it's delivered to your house. Guys, this one's easy. All you need is a hot pan, nice fish, great tomatoes, some scallions, some chopped herbs. We're gonna be using some parsley and cilantro, a little bit of butter, and we're gonna need some acid, so we're gonna use some lemon, and we also have our good old trusty grapeseed oil. This one's super easy. We're using this beautiful piece of Chilean sea bass, thanks to my friends over at Fish Foodies. Pro tip on how to get a nice, crisp, sear on this outside skin is you want to dry your fish off very very well pretty much half the battle with getting the skin not to stick is over now as long as you have a nice dry piece of fish so we're going to flip that bad boy back over okay and then we're just going to cut it into like a little bit more manageable pieces this is a nice piece of fish to work with i'm actually going to let it sit on a paper towel until it's uh, ready to use so we got this right over here. And the prep for this side is actually pretty easy. We're just gonna salt and pepper this with some nice salt flakes. I like to use Murray River, they're my favorite. They're from Australia and they're from a dried riverbed. And if you look at the back of the bottle, it just tracks like a ridiculous amount of minerals. So I just kind of like this stuff and it's hard to find. I'm one of the only people that have it. So if you wanna go over to dudesgourmet.com and grab some, go for it. Then we have some cracked black pepper it on top like this and that's pretty much all the prep for this and you just want to push it down to make sure it sticks a little bit we're going to put this on low heat and we're not even going to wait we're going to get this oil on the bottom of the pan this is a non-stick pan we want this skin to be super crispy so we actually want the fish and the pan and the skin to heat up at the same time so we're gonna go, we're gonna put these down like that. And we are gonna hit the back sides with our dudes here fishy fishy, which is our salt free fish seasoning. That's why we loaded up the salt. And we just wanna give it a nice little dusting like this. And while this is waiting to heat up over here, or this is actually starting to cook, you can have your cherry tomatoes like I already did over here. And chop your scallions like I did over there. This is about maybe six, seven scallions. And it's also one clove of garlic. And then I have a little bunch of cilantro and parsley. This is gonna be kind of a finisher at the end when we make this nice roast tomato salad. So I'm gonna boil it up. And I'm gonna throw it right back in here. Rough chop that like this. If you guys have watched my videos before, you know I love this. This is called a bench scraper. This is probably my favorite tool in the kitchen because it just makes life easy. Picking up all this chopped cilantro and parsley is kick. It's not my product, so we're gonna get it out of the shop, okay? Maybe next year. So if you guys wanna push down on some of these, it's not gonna hurt. Now we want a really crispy skin, so we're gonna go from low to medium right now. And then again, we're gonna go from medium to high. Did you guys know that Chilean sea bass isn't actually the original name for Chilean sea bass. It's called a Patagonian toothfish. And if you've ever seen one of these things, they're not like the best looking fish. So I guess I kind of understand why they changed the name. Um, not for nothing, I wouldn't really go out to, to dinner and order a Patagonian toothfish, but whatever, who cares? What I do like to do to this fish is sear the edges so the skin doesn't peel off. So that's this edge over here. So I'm gonna show you exactly how we do that. We just lift like this and we kind of just let it sit on that edge a little bit. That's it. Usually about 10, 15 seconds on each side. We'll make sure that that doesn't curl up. We're gonna go up again in temperature. And we're gonna get some of that oil to really crisp in some of these pieces over here. All right, guys, we're just gonna crank the heat a little bit higher again. We're gonna keep cranking this heat until we have a nice crispy skin. That's how I like it. So we're gonna gradually raise the temperature of the pan with the fish. So I wanna get the edges of these bigger pieces over here. So all the oil is spread around the outside of the pan. This pan is kind of, um, kind of has like a bowl shape to it a little bit. It's a little raised in the middle. So we're just gonna move the pan to the front like that and let those edges sit in that oil. Now we're gonna move these bad boys back. And we're gonna do the exact same thing on the bottom side. 
just by leaning the back. Get some of that oil back. See what our skin looks like now. Nope, almost guys. I'm gonna kiss this chubby piece over here on the pan a little bit to give it some color. See that skin guys? It's almost there, but it's not quite done yet. All right guys, now it's time to lay the corners up over here. Let's get this little crease really nice and cooked. And put these ones across the edges over here where the oil is. And this is one of the last steps. Okay, now I'm gonna take this other big piece and I'm gonna give it a kiss on its top like that. Same with this bad boy. This is hot guys, so watch out, okay? And be careful. Nobody wants to get burned. Now, these little guys are ready to go, so we're gonna flip these over. So now once you flip these over, they really don't need that much time, maybe a minute. I'm gonna put the vent on because it's getting a little smoky in here, but if you guys can smell what's happening right now, you guys would be so happy. You guys would be as happy as I am right now. All right, so this is very important to see over here. You see, guys see this? Once this fish starts to flake apart a little bit, that means it's pretty much done. So these two baby guys are ready to come off. We're gonna rest them flesh down to make sure that we don't ruin that nice crispy skin that we worked so hard for. These big boys need a little bit more time. My microphone's over here, can you guys hear this? That's the skin. You hear that? Now it's gonna be time to make our roasted tomato salad or tomato relish, whatever you guys wanna call it. These are halved cherry tomatoes, which are yellow um, and red. We're gonna throw those in real fast. We're gonna throw our chives and our onion in. And we will let this go for about a minute. Do not throw the oil that was in here out, okay? We wanna throw our vegetables directly in there. The flavor that it's gonna build is gonna be so much better. Trust me on this one. It's just a little bit of oil. They're good. All right, so let's spread that out a little bit. And this is what we're looking for. See that tomato right there? We want them all to have a little bit of color. The smell that is coming off of these vegetables is incredible. All right. See that guys, that's what you want. A little bit of wiltedness, okay. Now we're gonna leave this on heat, on high heat. You guys like my little wine dispenser? A little bit of white wine, let that cook down. We're gonna let that cook together, we're gonna throw in a little bit of butter, and then we're gonna call it a day guys. Kill the heat, we're gonna use the butter to make kind of like a nice sauce, almost like a beurre blanc-ish. So you guys know the sauce is done when the butter's melted. And that's when it's time to add your shot of lemon. Now it's time to add your fresh herbs, your parsley, your cilantro. Just get it all in there. And get it toss this through. Now it's time to plate. Over here I put one big piece with the crispy skin on the bottom and then flesh side up over here. We are ready to plate. This is gonna be very hot guys, so watch out. I like to load it right here and use this almost as like a guide. Do two scoops of each, then a little bit of that nice pan sauce. And that is one beautiful piece of Chilean sea bass brought to you by the dude and the boys at Fish Foodies. Guys, the best doctor door delivery around, fishfoodies.com. I stress it all the time. If you're not getting beautiful fish like this, I, I mean, I feel sorry for you. This fish is delicious. This dish is delicious. This dish is easy. I'm looking at my timer right now. I've been cooking for 17 minutes. That's it, guys. It took me 17 minutes to make this. Like, this is a beautiful fish dish. Like, if your fish doesn't look like this, I don't want to be your friend. But I do want to eat this, so I'm going to eat this. Moment of truth, guys. Skin is nice and crispy. Oh man, this is good. 
My skin is so crispy. This fish is beautiful.